Good evening and welcome to a beautiful evening at Atoka. So for our last week of the Franklinton Soccer Club's fall schedule, we've put together a special treat, a three hole foot golf course. Now foot golf is kind of like a mixture between putt putt and soccer, where you have a tee off, you follow a fairway, and then you eventually make it onto the green and you finish in the hole. So this was put together uh, as a way to say thank you to the leadership of Franklinton Soccer Club. So uh, I'll kind of go over that when we step through. Now each one has a cone where you, you tee off. Luke, uh, a Franklinton Soccer Club member, my son is going to show you how. Go ahead and tee off down that fairway, buddy. All right. So with each kick, it counts as one shot. Now both of the first two holes are par threes for club members that are 12 and older, par fives for club members that are between eight and 12, and they're within a minute and a half for everyone under the age of eight. They can kick it as many times. Now you can keep playing, buddy. Now, the first hole is a par three or par five or minute and a half uh, called Leslie's Cupcake. It's uh, our shortest hole that dog legs to the left and it finishes with a green flag. You can see Luke finishing off. Now, now putting is a little bit difficult. When you come towards the end, there's a slight dip, but you've got to kick it just perfect to finish inside of that cup. Good job, buddy. All right, so that was hole one. Leslie's Cupcake. So we go over to the side, we just follow the trail, and we get to hole two. Now hole two is called the Crane's Neck, named after Rob and Christy Crane. This hole is a long straightaway. Sorry about the sun there. It's a long straightaway. Now this, the fairway is, is long, thin, and and pretty straight. There's a slight dog leg to the left. Now, this one will have a yellow flag on it. And just like hole one, for our 12 and older, it's a par three. Between eight and 12, it's a par five. And for the eight and unders, you're actually timed by seeing if you can get it in under a minute and a half. So the second hole ends with a yellow flag. This is the crane's neck. Now we only have three holes, so we have more people to thank than that. So I wanna point out our, our fearless leader, Jason Smith. Uh, he is the, the man responsible in many ways for organizing the club <clears throat> and putting in all the long, hard hours for really getting it together. So as Luke can show you, this is not an easy sport. You really want to stay inside of the fairway if at all possible. Now his ball is a little deflated, so he can't get a good kick on it either. Oh, see if you go a little bit hard on that putt, it will not go in. So that's hole two. We follow our trail and we get to the last hole. The last hole, if you're afraid of failure, just stop now. This one's named after Whitney Bam and it's called At Wit's End. Uh, this is just pure nightmare fuel. It's as long as the first two holes put together and it starts with a pretty wide fairway that gently slopes to the left. So it should help all our right footed kickers. Now this hole, as hard as it is, is gonna be a par five for 12 and over, a par seven for our club members between eight and 12, and a two minute hole for everybody under the age of eight. So they have to finish under two minutes. So after that long sloping narrow fair or wide fairway, it zigs and zags into more and more narrow fairways. 
Now, you don't want to cut across that rough. Makes it very hard to kick a ball. So we zig over to the right at about a, I don't know, maybe a 50 degree angle. And then we zig back to the left to a pencil thin fairway with our thickest rough. And after that 90 degree turn, you have a fairly long, narrow fairway that ends in the red flag. And that is the end of At Wit's End. And finally, I also want to thank Kyle Varnado, the person who has been there uh, organizing coaches and coaches two or three teams himself. So uh, once again, we just didn't have enough holes to, to honor everyone. But uh, thank you for checking out our course. Please come and enjoy it tomorrow at our final day of Franklinton Soccer Club. Uh, so fall season. One more, buddy. Oh, good. Oh, no, no. Blow on it, blow on it. Good job, buddy.